How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good. Not too bad. I'm home. That's a good thing. Uh, long work day. Um, but it wasn't too bad outside, so... Uh, it's alright. Alright. I mind long, long work days, uh, you know, after I work inside and have to go outside and do all my stuff. I don't mind it when it's, uh, when it's at least decent outside. Um, so, it can get a little warmer. Uh, I'm not going to complain if it gets warmer. Uh, I, I deal with the heat much better than uh, cold weather. So I wish it could be it, like spring, summer, all year. Um, outside of Christmas, you know, Christmas can get cold. We could have snow. You know, you need that for Christmas, right? Uh, I can't imagine like out in California, you know, when you when you, they don't have that, they don't have any you know, cold weather or or uh, snow. Christmas, it just to me it wouldn't it wouldn't seem like Christmas. You know, even here if we don't have snow, it just it kind of takes away from it a little bit. But I prefer the warm weather. It wasn't too bad out today. Uh, it's supposed to be getting warmer, though. So, good. What I'm here to do? I subscribe to a new box. Why? Eh, I want to try something different. So, this is Universal Yums. Check out the link below. I was looking for a... Uh, you know, a different different kind of mystery box that, that I could get, or one that I could, you know, subscribe to and get every month, but one that would accept, you know, one that accepted PayPal to where I didn't have to use, like, credit card where I could just use my PayPal and just have it automatically, you know, come out of, my, like, my checking. And then I'll just write it out in my checkbook each month. So I found this one, and basically what this is is that I think when you initially sign up, you choose between a few different countries what you want your first box to be. After that, then each month they have like a featured country. They have three different, I believe there's three different um, like levels or three different options as far as the size of the box. Um, this is the, I guess what would you call the medium. It's supposed to have seven to ten snacks from a certain country in it. So, and then they have, obviously they have a smaller, smaller one I think has, that has four to seven. And then they have a larger one that I don't remember how many it has in it, but it's like more like a family size type thing. But check it out if you like trying new stuff and you want to try some of the, the snacks that you could get in other countries. Just be a good box. It did sustain a little bit of damage. It's a little little squished on this side, but it's all right. Not a big deal. All right. So here is the uh, kind of the cheat sheet. I chose to get France for my first box. Uh, I'm not gonna look through this, but as I pull stuff out and I try it. I'll look it up so I I can know a little bit more about it. All right, just reach in and and pull something out. See what we got. There's a sticker. A little sticker, and then I don't, can't really read. It says. Louvre. What's not to Louvre about French yums? And obviously Louvre is, I mean, I can't, it's in white, but Louvre is spelled like the, the museum. I'm probably not even pronounce it right. But that's the letters that are in it, so that's what, it, that's how I pronounce it. All right. The first item is, looks like chips, the brand name is Brett's, and they're Savior Aioli potato chips. 
Brett. Yeah. And a lot of this stuff on these boxes is probably going to be in French. Or it's going to have a French pronunciation. I don't speak French, so I'm probably going to butcher all of them. Alright. It smells kind of like a. I mean, obviously it's, it's meant to be aioli, but it kind of smells like like kind of like French onion, maybe. Yeah, them are good. And I guess it does have like an onion right there on the pack. Should have looked a little closer, huh? Yeah, those those will be finished off tonight. Those are good. They're just like like chips with kind of like like I said like a French onion flavor. You would really like those. All right, next. We have got, oh, I was going to, I almost forgot, I was going to look in here and see. We got like a whole little like book that talks all about the, and then they, they kind of tell you, I mean, they have a, like an order they go through, but. All right, so those were the, this. The Sa Savior aioli are garlic aioli potato chips. So I'm guessing that's what S-A-V-E-U-R is in French is, is garlic. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna read the whole the whole thing here. The one I probably couldn't do it anyhow because the lighting isn't the lighting's good for doing stuff like this, but for reading small print, no, not so much. Plus, I'm getting old. My eyeballs, uh, they still, they're still good enough to, uh, to to be able to get my license renewed every four years. But you know, and you get older, they start to diminish a little bit. All right, next we have La Mer Poulard, 1888. This. Sabli pure beurre. Anybody speaks French? Feel free to uh, school me in the comments. Alright, so which, what are these? Pure butter sables. So I'm guessing these are like cookies. Thank you. Come in a little, little pack. These are probably good, be good with like something on them. As opposed to just by themselves. But we'll find out if I can get it open. Use a knife. Got a knife, I'm going to use it. I wonder if these are more, I mean, they kind of look like crackers, but I wonder if they're meant to be more like cookies. those other little pieces in there. They're good. The box back. They're good. They do have a butter flavor. And but they're kind of sweet. 
So I would put them at more like cookies. I think they'd be good with, uh, they'd even be better like if you put like some kind of maybe like jelly or something on them. But the garlic chips, I would give a 10 out of 10. These cookie things, hmm, like a 7. All right, next, we have got Cybel Corn Snack, cheesy flavor. They kind of look like that, uh, I'm going to say that cereal, or, or just cereal, that kind of looks like that. I can't think what it is. And smell the cheese. Mm. They're not real cheesy. I mean, you can, you can taste it just a little bit right at the beginning. And then it just tastes like 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 a plain like corn snack. So, I'd give it about a five. All right, next. I'm probably going to open everything in the box to try it. Just because I actually do need to eat dinner. So maybe we'll do, we'll, we'll open one more to try and then the other ones I'll just, we'll just kind of look at. Right. Here's some more Brett's chips. And these are onion, confit, and balsamic vinegar. They don't really have a smell. Tastes like onion. I mean, you can kind of taste the vinegar just a little bit. Not a whole lot. It's more onion than than vinegar. I mean, they're good. They definitely be good with like chip dip. Yeah, those will probably be gone by the end of the night. By the time I go to bed, both of these will probably be gone. All right, let me set these over right here. All right. And yeah, I'm not looking in a book because it's just going to take too long. Alright, these I'm not going to open because it's pretty obvious of oh, what they are. Strawberry bonbon chewy candy. They feel like they're very, very tiny. And next. We have got truffle bars. Truffle bar. All right, this one I'll look up because I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's chocolate. This is a cocoa dusted chocolate truffle bar. Cocoa dusted. All right, well that's got a long title to it, so that warrants opening it up and trying one of them. Ew. I think they're, I think they melted. 
Yeah. Kind of melted. All right, maybe we won't try that right now. Maybe I'll have to put that in the refrigerator to uh, let them harden it. Maybe put it in the freezer. All right. Oops. Next, we have another cookie. This is a uh, Mason. Bruyere, French fine cookies since 1964. These are apricot and vanilla. That's pretty, pretty good. I wonder if they look like that or if they're showing a picture like the with it with something on it. I don't want to open it, open it up though. That's more of a dessert type thing too. All right, looks like we got two things left. We have a yum bag. It says, so what is the yum bag? You know the phrase, good things come in small packages. The yum bag is that phrase embodied. As we're searching the world for the best yums to bring you, we sometimes stumble up on smaller finds that are big on crazy flavor, but small in size. Inside you'll find only the most extraordinary, mysterious, incredibly delicious, teeny yums in the world. And remember, don't eat the bag. Good advice. See what it is. Oh, we've got toffee, I think. Yeah, or like a caramel. And like a fruit chew. Like strawberry. Right. Kind of like candy. Alright, last thing in the box. This don't feel like it's melted. I'll probably put it in the uh, fridge for a little bit before I try to open it. But we have a sea salt crystals. So it's a big chocolate bar. I mean, that's a big chocolate bar. It's dark chocolate. 47% cocoa and sea salt crystals. Yeah, I could probably sit and finish that in one sitting, too. All right. Well, there you go. That is the first um, Universal Yums box that I got um, from France. Um, the, all the stuff I tried, I liked. Um, like I said, the corn, the cheesy corn snacks didn't have a whole lot of flavor. I'm sure like the chocolate the chocolate bar and the strawberry bonbons and the apricot cookies are all going to be delicious. But yeah, my favorite favorite item out of what I've tried would probably be the garlic aioli chips. My least favorite out of what I tried was the cheesy corn snacks because there wasn't a whole lot. But overall, based on just what I tried and what I'm expecting the other items, um, how good I'm expecting them to be. I would give this first box 8 out of 10. Uh, that might go up after I try the other stuff, but yeah, we'll say 8 out of 10. Um, I don't know whether they say... I don't think they... Uh, I thought maybe they would say like what the, the next one, but I think this is, like I said, when you sign up, I think you, they let you choose from a couple of different ones that they recently had. So, this might have been like last month's or you know, 
France might have been like two months ago. I, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, I will look at that later. So that's it, everybody. Uh, stay safe and healthy, would you, please? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I know this is my first one. There wasn't much to it, but uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Um, I greatly appreciate it. You're not obligated to watch all of my videos or any of my videos, really, but I'd obviously appreciate it if you did. Uh, and oh yeah. Look out for yourself and those around you. Until the next time, which I'm still waiting on my vampire boxes. They're kind of stuck in limbo, it looks like. The last the last tracking thing I had, they were still in Texas, so I, I don't know when they'll be here. I know other people have been getting theirs, but uh, hopefully, uh, maybe by the weekend, it'll be here. So stay tuned and uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, everybody have a wonderful evening. And if I if I don't post a video before the weekend, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. See ya.